Hello. This is my first attempt at making a printed TDC. It is based on Tridos uh, design model. Uh, it has quite a few parts printed in 3D and also reworked afterwards because uh, the parts need a lot of tolerance and unfortunately the printer is not that precise and even if it is precise enough it will print uh, a little bit warped since uh, the PLA expands and after a while it shrinks so all the parts need a little bit of sanding. Uh, this specific uh, TDC is meant for the Action Army uh, hop-up chamber and as all the hop-up chambers it has an arm that has a little knob inside as you can see and this knob is the one that presses on top of the other small knob this one is from maple leaf and that in the end presses inside the hop-up bucking and on top of the BB. The arm itself um, has three important pieces. One is the one that I modified from a nut. Uh, the original arm looks like this. Uh, the nut goes on top. Oops. The nut goes on top and on the lower part goes the knob. In this situation, I grinded it so it can sit floss with the hop-up chamber. Also, for this project, I used, um, I don't know the name of these, but are the ones that make the thread. So I made a half thread through the plastic part, uh, an M4 thread, so I could, uh, in the end, place the M4 nut and have just a little bit of resistance, not the resistance of a plastic part that is, it is self-threaded. On the other side, uh, the piece is an M2.5, I believe, or an M3, I'm not, or an M2, I'm not quite sure. And it was self-threaded with the uh, screw that came with the hop-up chamber. Unfortunately, mine came off. This little part over here is a retention part, but mine came off while I was testing and placing the hop-up chamber. So, uh, it has another three parts. One that is currently curing, that is uh, similar to the um, uh, pro part of the TDC made by Tridos. Uh, it, it is a little bit bulkier. I hope it started bonding. It is a little bit bulkier, but I wanted to make it a little bit easier to print and to assemble. Hopefully this part will be cured at the end of the video. Basically, what we will need to do, we will need to place uh, the small bucking inside the chamber and we will need oh damn it we'll need to align it properly so when it is inside if you can see when it is inside it makes full contact and it does not bite to the to the lips after that we will insert the smaller knob inside of the arm and carefully place it in. Let's see. So, once inside, you will know it is 
placed properly because it will leave just a little bit of slop. It won't, it won't go directly down, nor it will stay up, uh, up. We will place the retention pin. Try and fix it properly and make it go a little bit deeper. I do not recommend to put it all the way in since um, for me it was a pain to get out. I had to punch it out using a vise. And on the other side, we will need to place the original screw black back, the one that will make the retention with the arm. You will know when it's done, when it comes on the other side and makes full contact and it stops threading. I do not recommend taking it out many times because the thread is not as strong as a steel one or an aluminum one. Of course, since uh, this TDC is a little bit of the chart, I mean, by the dimensions, uh, the bucking will be pressed just a little bit inside. So you won't have a zero hop. So for the fields that measure even the sniper rifles with zero hope, hop, you won't have zero hope. You won't have a uh, zero hop since the arm is still pressing a little bit together with the knob on the uh, bucking. Now we'll go ahead and place it inside. This is an SSG. Uh, the hop-up chamber is a, an action army. And the um, barrel is a, as well an action army, a tight bore, a 601, I believe. As for the hole, uh, I made it using a, a caliper. I measured the distance between the first part of the hole, the retention hole for the block and the camera, and the distance between the upper part of the um, uh, screw, the nut that I placed. It is a, a little bit wider hole. It is around uh, an M6 because I needed a little bit of tolerance for the upper part so I could properly insert the nut. We will now place the block. I noticed last time that I had a little bit of slop on my block so I went ahead and used a little bit of uh, thermic tape because it's very thin and you can use it in layers without messing the geometry too much and without having to modify anything. And now we will screw back the block. Do remember, do not over screw this once. Do not, do not over tighten them because it's an aluminum block and aluminum blocks tend to lose the threads rapidly. As you can see, the block doesn't have slope anymore. And we will go ahead and insert uh, the knob 
uh, the, um, the screw and as well as the little key. First we'll place it on top and then the screw will go in with a little spring. I used this model, I thought of it because I didn't know how to uh, make, it, make it go in place without gluing anything. The first attempt it was with glue, but I didn't like the fact that a gap remained between um, this little part and the mask. So I used a little bit uh, a piece of um, spring to keep it always down. Not only that, but if you have a little bit of slack, you will have more tolerance. For example, if you accidentally touch the wheel, it won't move the, the, the screw inside. Okay. So the next part is assembling the adapter in the front. I'm using a silencer. And this also keeps the tight bore in place. There you go. And after that, the rest is the normal assembly or reassembly of your VSR OS or SSG back. So the main parts that I have problems with were the hop-up arm because being made out of PLA, even with 100% in fill, there are still small parts that are very uh, slim and will tend to break. As you can see, the first attempt broke, unfortunately. So I made the, the arm. Uh, Keeping in mind to place a nut that unfortunately I had to grind. I couldn't find in my local store a square nut, but most probably online I'll be able to find one when uh, I'll be able to make the final version. Also, uh, the little knob that goes on the lower part, uh, I had quite a few issues because the, the print could not uh, properly stick even with the little brim outside. And unfortunately, I had to make quite a few to get a proper one. And even that one, since I had to make it a little bit thicker, I had to grind up so I could, could sit it flush with the rest of the arm. Well, thanks for watching. This is it.